yes, the movie that made me sit as far away from the TV as possible whenever I watch a movie now. I'm still not convinced that she can't actually crawl through the television and kill me. What's up guys, I'm your host Joss and welcome back to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and stick around until the end of this video where I will do some comment shout outs. I think it's safe to say a lot of us have something in common and that's being scared sh from the movie The Ring. I was 100% convinced that because I had seen that cursed videotape movie, I only had seven days to live. Don't pretend you weren't either. And it only got worse too as we all started prank calling each other and whispering seven days into the phone. You may have thought you knew everything about this iconic scary movie, but today I'm here to tell you the top 10 dark things you didn't know about The Ring. Before we get started, I just wanted to say that because this film originates in Japan, I will probably pronounce a bunch of Japanese words in a white girl Canadian way, so please forgive me. Okay, let's get started. list at number 10 is Samara's look was inspired by actual Japanese ghosts. Most of us saw Samara and got creeped out even before we saw her face. Her look is actually very simple, a young girl in a white dress with hair covering her face, yet somehow it is totally creepy. Turns out her look actually draws from a long history of Japanese ghosts, particularly the Yuri ghosts, which are a Japanese woman with a white face, long black hair, and a white kimono that trails off into fog where her legs should be. The reason these ghosts look like this is because that's how Japanese women looked when they were buried. While most Japanese women wore their hair up in a bun, it was put down after they passed away, and they were dressed in a white kimono to show the purity of their soul. Yet here I was dressing up for her when you're at Halloween like it was no big deal. At number 9 we have the fact that the VHS tape was expected to harm people. Some of us knew that this was just a movie, while others were actually convinced that the VHS actually had the power to kill people. When the film was released on VHS in England in 2001, there was a disclaimer labeled on the back of the box saying they were not responsible for, and I quote, any injuries or fatalities that may occur during or after the viewing of this video cassette. Well, that's one way to scare the hell out of us, but apparently they were being serious and wanted to cover their ass in case anything actually did happen. Taking spot number eight is the interesting fact that Shuzoko from the Japanese original movie Ringu is based on a real person. If you guys didn't know, the movie The Ring is based on the Ring novels that originally originated in Japan. The American version we saw is an adaptation of the original books. The books follow a similar premise of a young girl named Sudoku, who we all know as Samara today. Well, Sudoku has a mother named Shizuko, and apparently she wasn't just a made up character, but she was an actual Japanese woman. She was based on a real person whose life kind of turned out the same way. Her name is Shizuko Mifune, and there's a very good chance that I'm not pronouncing that correctly, so forgive me. She was a woman born in 1886 who was rumored to have a psychic gift. When she tried to do a public demonstration of her powers in 1910, she was publicly attacked for being a fraud and committed suicide a year later by digesting poison. Seems to me like there's a lot more meaning to everything in this movie that once scared the hell out of me in elementary school. Thank god I didn't know all these details back then. Sliding into number 7 is The Ring represents our culture of memes. I think it's safe to say we've all seen a meme or two in our time, or 5,000 of them. Memes can just be seen as funny pictures that people create, but when you really think of it, they are more than just that. Memes can be passed around as units of imitation that have ideas and messages in them. We all see a picture that someone created based off their own ideas, and then we usually pass it along to someone else. It could be seen that these repetitive memes are taking up space in our heads, reducing our brain power for other more important things, and slowly killing us. That's a little bit dramatic in my opinion, but if you think about the concept and how it relates to the ring, it kind of makes sense. If you don't share a video with a friend with in seven days, you will die. Sound familiar? I remember getting email spams that if I didn't forward it, something bad was going to happen. There has been a wave of email chains, comments, and meme images, all with this type of theme that float around the internet. It's no coincidence that this type of theme was the inspiration for Ringu, and then after that, The Ring. And at number six is you can actually watch the full cursed tape. On The Ring DVD, they put the cursed tape as a scary little Easter egg that many people don't know about. If you click the words, look here, and press down 
down so your cursor disappears, apparently your remote control will then be disabled. Once the video starts to play, you can't stop it, pause it, fast forward it, or return to the menu. Your only out of the curse tape is to walk up to the TV and turn it off, which we all know isn't easy since Samara could climb out of it at any second and kill you. Once the video is over and you've made it through, it will return to the menu and you'll hear two telephone rings before you can control your remote control once again. I dare you guys to all go and try it. Halfway through at number five is the fact that Samara's scary movements are based off a real dance, which is just as creepy by the way because I watched some of it. The original Japan movie Ringu took on resemblances to Kabuki theater while coming up with the creepy Sudoku character. One of the primary influences to the movements of Sudoku and Samara come from a form of dance called Buta, which came out after World War II. Once you watch the dance, you'll realize it is difficult to explain, but it was created to be different and not stuck in a certain style. The movements usually include grotesque imagery, absurd movements, and is performed in white body makeup with slow and jerky movements. Sort of like the way Samara comes crawling out of that damn TV. Taking the number four spot is that Samara is based off a real evil Japanese spirit. If you haven't seen the original Japan movie Ringu, the Samara of the movie is named Sudoku, who is actually an evil spirit known in Japan. Sudoku's evil spirit is known as a vengeful ghost, which is the concept of Onryu in Japan. Onryu are known to be souls of those who died with extreme hatred, particularly women, which is why they are seeking vengeance. They all have that same appearance too, pale woman with long disheveled black hair wearing their white burial clothes. Sudoku, aka Samara, is the evil spirit of a woman who was murdered and thrown down a well by the samurai she rejected. She's also known to carry the evil spirit of another woman who was fooled into drinking poison and murdered by her husband. So while we're over here thinking this was just a cool character sketch, this is actually an evil spirit that wants vengeance. I can totally sleep better at night now, for sure. In the number three spot, we have that typical scary movie fact that the ring is based on a true story, just when you thought the movie couldn't get any scarier. The story of Samara was first introduced in the novel that became 1998's Ringu and then 2002's The Ring, and involves three key ingredients. A girl, a well, and a cursed videotape. If you travel to Himeji Castle in western Japan, you can learn just how real Samara really is. The castle stands on top of a mountain and was built somewhere between 1333 and 1346 apparently, and is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Japan. Why? Because of the story of Okiku, a girl who died in a well outside the castle. And yes, the well is still there for you to visit if you're really feeling brave. Okiku worked in a dungeon beneath the castle and was a servant to a samurai named Tasan Ayuama. He fell madly in love with her, telling her he was going to leave his wife and be with her. How romantic. But Okiku wasn't on board with this plan, which led her to being brutally murdered. After her death, she was said to crawl out of the well and appear upon Ayuama on a nightly basis, who was driven insane by the vengeful ghost. I guess that's what he gets for being a shady husband and a creepy boss. Alright guys, at number two we have the cool fact that the movie is based on a spiritual power, not just a spirit. The power is photography, which is also called psychic photography, and is the claimed ability to burn images from one's mind onto surfaces such as photographic film by psychic powers. The term photography has been in the English language since 1913, but was termed as projected thermography after the ring came out in 2002. We can see this power throughout the cursed videotape in the film. The clips we see are actually images that were seen in Samara's life and were spiritually created into a videotape. Filling in the number one spot is that Samara's name was picked for a reason. She's actually the little girl of a woman named Evelyn Asorio. In 1970, Evelyn was captive in the basement of a perverted priest named Burke. Burke raped her while keeping her captive and eventually impregnated her. After eight and a half months of being held captive, she escaped and went to a local Christian hospital to give birth. She gave birth to a baby girl which she named Samara. This little girl was claimed to be born with strange supernatural abilities which was believed to be a demonic spirit living inside her. Evelyn says she heard voices in her head telling her that the only way to get rid of the evil spirits was by drowning Samara. She tried to drown the baby girl in a fountain outside the hospital, but a group of nuns caught her in the act and saved the baby. Samara was eventually put up for adoption and her mother was put into a mental institution. So while creating the movie, Samara wasn't just a random name that was chosen. Her story is famously known and she now goes by Samara Morgan, but was originally born as Samara Osorio. Well, there you go guys, 10 things you probably didn't know about the scary ass movie The Ring. Let me know in the comments what you think of this list and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. For now, let's check out some comments from my last video, top 10 most memorable movie lines of all time. Eopia Inupo, sorry if I said that wrong, says, oh gosh, I love that cropped hoodie so 
much. Thank you. I actually love cropped hoodies. I wear them in the summer too. I love them so much. Martinez97 says, I'm allergic to chocolate. That's terrible. I honestly don't even know what I would do if I was allergic to chocolate. Panic Girl Sinner says, I love the video. Keep doing more. Thank you. If you guys like this type of video, just comment down below and maybe I can do a part two or something similar. Michael Ross says, nice outfit, Jocelyn. You picked that out yourself. Yes, my mother stopped dressing me when I was like seven. All right, I'll see you later, guys. Hit that subscribe button before you go. I'm your host, Joss, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.